we're going to talk about script parameters we have seen this parameters tab in script record so this is the script parameter in order to create a script parameter you can click on this particular new parameter button and the script parameter is usually used to send some kind of data to your script okay so let's say for example if you are using or if you are trying to create a sales order record and maybe sometimes you may hard code your sales order forms right or even you may hard code the memo values also what if we create a script parameter here where we can send some kind of dynamic values or some kind of fixed values directly from the script parameters itself so it would be a better option to send some kind of data directly from the script parameter itself there are different types of script parameter whenever you click a new parameter it it opens up a page it's almost similar to your custom field creation and you can provide the data type also and one drawback on this data type script parameter is we don't have option of multi select and under preference you can see this three options which is empty company and user these are the three different types of script parameters so we're going to discuss about what are these three different types of script parameters and whether this can be accessed across scripts or not and on the other hand i have already created three different script parameters so first one is a user level preference it is a script parameter which is named as trigger so creation and this is a checkbox so this i am making use of like when there is a checkbox checked i don't want my script to create a sales order so i'm going to make this as a user level preference and the other preferences company level preferences so this let's say this company level preferences usually accessed only by the administrators so if admin wants to decide the transaction form used in the script they can decide it and set it in the company level preference itself so on the other hand i have this default memo so i'm going to set this default memo value with some value the deployment record itself so that only the person who is creating the script record he can access this particular field so this trigger so creation or user preference is usually accessed by most of the employees who have access to this user preferences they can change their preferences as per their need so in order to set the value for user preferences you can set it in ohm and then click on set preferences so once you open your set preferences page set preferences page you can navigate to custom preferences and there i can see a general section which shows me the field trigger so creation i'm going to check this checkbox and click on save if i go back to my script so next level of script parameter is a company level parameter so this company level parameter can be set under setup company general preferences this page can be accessed by administrators usually so if you go to general preferences and there you can see a custom preferences sub tab and under custom preferences sub tab we can see this default sales order form so i'm going to set it to standard sales order form and i'm going to save the company level script parameter preference so if i just come back to my script record there is only one left out now which is default memo so and the preference is empty so this is like more of script level preference so i'm going to set the script level preference under my deployment so i have already deployed this particular script which has this deployment and i'm going to click on this deployment edit and i'm going to set the parameters default memo as so i'm going to save this deployment now how can i use this parameter and how can i get the values of all this parameter using script so that is the next question which we have in our mind so if i go to my script i have already created two scripts which says u script 2 and another script says u script 1 so what i'm trying to do is i am using a runtime module to get the current script object and using that current script reference i am trying to get the script parameters values so the first level of parameter which i'm trying to get is a user level parameter which says trigger so creation and the second level of parameter is company level parameter which actually defaults the sales order form and the third level parameter is script level parameters which is a default memo and i'm also trying to log all three values if you just check this particular line it says is trigger so which is a checkbox field so i'm going to get either true or false if the checkbox is checked as true i'm going to proceed further with creation of my sales order if it is false i'm not going to create any sale so this is a user level preferences so user can adjust whether this particular script is getting triggered and if they want to create the sales order or not they can decide whenever they are testing it actually without actually doing any change in the code so if i just go back to my script 2 script 2 is almost similar only small difference is i have just added a log which says where parameter is not defined the reason behind is 
So the script one UE script where I uploaded and I have created all the parameters and a script one itself. So I have not created the parameters for my script two. If I go to my script two, I don't have any parameters tab under deployment. So I have not created any script parameter under script two. So the reason why I have created these two scripts is to just check whether I can access the parameters which are created in script one in UE script two or not. So let's check that by testing this out. So I have already deployed this on a customer record and the function which I have used is after submit function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open any existing customer record and I'm just going to click edit and save. So and I'm just going to click edit on the existing customer and I'm not going to make any changes to this particular customer record. I'm just going to click save on this customer record to trigger my after submit event. So the customer record is saved now. If I just go back to my deployment one and let's check our execution log by clicking refresh. Now I can see trigger SO creation user preferences as fetch the value as true. And if I check this particular deployment in the deployment level, I have not set the value all, at all. So the value is directly fetched from the user level preferences. So I can see the user level preference value as and on the other hand the default memo value which is a script level parameter where I have set the value to script one UE memo value under this parameters which is also good and the final one is the company level parameters which is a default SO form and it has provided me the internal ID of that transaction form sales order transaction form so which is all good with the script level one where I have created all the parameters itself. So if I just go back to my deployment too, even this script is also deployed on customer record, even this would have triggered now. So if I just click refresh on this, okay, I can see this a script level parameter which is called as default memo value. I have not received any values from this, so which means I cannot access the script level parameter created on another script or defined on another script. And if I just see this another parameter which is user level parameter. I can actually access the user level parameter also on my second script, which is actually returning me the checkbox is checked. And on the other hand, the company level parameter is also accessible with the script too, where the script too don't even have any parameters defined on this particular script, which actually concludes I can access company level scripts across the scripts. And to set the value, I have to go to setup company and then general preferences. And even user level preferences, I can access those values and to set I have to go to the home and then set preferences and in order to set the blank or the empty script parameter value I can deploy it I can set this value directly under the deployment itself and this can be accessed only on the script where it is actually created so this concludes the script parameter and the different types of script parameter